This is Company Saturdays. Every Saturday, we present you with another company. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Dropbox. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting lesser known facts about the very successful tech startup Dropbox. Dropbox is a cloud-based file hosting service that was founded back in 2007. The concept was created by Drew Houston when he was a student at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, commonly referred to as MIT. Shortly after he developed the concept, he received funding from an American seed accelerator called Y Combinator which was also an early investor in Airbnb, Reddit, DoorDash, and many others. The company's official launch came in 2008 at the technology conference called TechCrunch Disrupt. One of the people who saw an early demo video was Arash Ferdowski, another student at MIT, and he partnered up with Houston to get the company off the ground. Today, Houston is the CEO and Ferdowski is the chief tech officer. Dropbox has been steadily growing since it was founded, going from 1 million to 100 million users in just three years, from 2009 to 2012. Today, it is one of the most successful startups in the world as it continues to expand and increase revenue. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We want to learn more about Dropbox because of their ability to stand out among the thousands of startups as a true success story in the tech world that only promises to increase value. So now it's time to take a look at this influential company with the 15 things you didn't know about Dropbox. Number 1. The founder originally created Dropbox just for his personal use. The entire concept of Dropbox is based on the fact that Drew Houston was a forgetful person, at least when it came to remembering to grab his USB flash drive when he enrolled at MIT. After he failed to find an existing document storage system that was bug-free and user-friendly, he opted to create one for himself. Initially, he had no intentions of starting a business and was just looking for a personal solution to his problem, but when he realized how valuable the concept would be for so many people, he began to think bigger. Number 2. It has over 550 million users By 2009, two years after it was founded, Dropbox reached 1 million users. They reached the 50 million mark by May 2012 and doubled to 100 million by November the same year. They added 75 million additional users in 2013 and had reached 300 million by May 2014. By 2016, the company celebrated having half a billion users. Dropbox now has over 550 million users and it's still growing daily. Number 3. Steve Jobs offered to buy Dropbox but the founders declined Back in the first few years when Dropbox was getting off the ground, the co-founders Drew Houston and Arash Ferdowski were often asked to go to Apple headquarters to personally meet with Steve Jobs. Jobs told them they had built a great product and expressed his interest in purchasing the company. However, the two men were interested in developing the company themselves and not looking for a quick payday by selling. Jobs told him in his own way that if they didn't sell, he would run them out of business, but they didn't back down and are so happy now that they didn't. Number 4. It became a decacorn in 2014 In the realm of tech startups, it used to be so rare for these types of companies to reach a billion dollar valuation that those that did were referred to as unicorns. However, in the last few years, several tech companies have taken off and reached valuations that were previously unheard of, which led to a new term being developed, the decacorn. Decacorns are tech startups that reach a $10 billion valuation. These decacorns include Airbnb, Pinterest, Uber, Snapchat, and many others, including Dropbox as of 2014. Number 5. Speaking of decacorns, Dropbox is valued at around $11 billion. As of their 2014 funding round, Dropbox has been able to boast a valuation of $10 billion, a much sought-after goal in the world of tech startups. When they were preparing for their initial public offering in 2018, they scaled the valuation back a bit to $8 billion, based on what they thought their shares would sell for. After the IPO, they reached a peak valuation of $12 billion. But after the initial demand of the newly offered stock died down, the market capitalization leveled out right around $11 billion, which is what its valuation sits at today. Number 6. Dropbox has never turned an annual profit 
Even though Dropbox was founded over 10 years ago and is generally considered a very successful company, they have yet to have a year where they turn a profit or even break even. In 2016, they lost over $200 million, and in 2017, they posed a loss of $112 million. Dropbox is expected to lose $50 million in 2018, but there's a chance that 2019 will be the first year they post a profit. Number 7. Over 68 million passwords were stolen in 2012 In 2012, Dropbox was hacked, but the true scope of the attack didn't come to light until 2016. Dropbox executives were aware of the hacking but did not realize what exactly had been compromised until a tech site called Motherboard claimed to have obtained four files which contained the email addresses and passwords of over 68.5 million Dropbox users. Dropbox then quickly implemented a wide-scale password reset and claimed there was no indication that any account was accessed improperly. Number 8. Leaked documents showed Dropbox was considered for NSA surveillance. In 2013, some top secret documents were leaked that contained details of the PRISM surveillance program used by the National Security Agency of the United States. The documents showed that the data was being taken directly from the servers of a number of tech companies, including Microsoft, Yahoo, Facebook, Google, Skype, YouTube, and Apple. The document also included other companies that were being considered for the use in surveillance, and Dropbox was one of them. Although several of these companies, including Dropbox, said they had no knowledge of the program and did not allow access, people became skeptical about the security and privacy of the documents they shared online, and this caused a loss in confidence in Dropbox as well. Number 9. Only 2.1% of their customers have paid subscriptions Dropbox has hundreds of millions of users, but only a small percentage of these are actually paying customers that help sustain the business. Dropbox, of course, operates on a freemium model, where they offer basic services for free and then more advanced tools and increased capacity for paid subscribers. As of the end of 2017, only 2.1% of all of their users were paying customers, up from 1.4% in 2016. This equals out to about 11 million paid subscribers. Number 10. Dropbox CEO and founder Drew Houston has a $3 billion net worth. Since founding Dropbox, 35-year-old CEO Drew Houston has managed to accumulate a very impressive wealth of $3 billion. This makes him the 548th richest person in the US, and Forbes named him as the 18th richest entrepreneur under 40 in the United States. However, he's only the 1,999th richest billionaire in the world and is not yet in the ranks of the top-tier tech founders, which include Jeff Bezos with a net worth of $112 billion, Bill Gates with a net worth of $90 billion, and Mark Zuckerberg with a net worth of $71 billion. We talk a lot more about Zuckerberg in our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Mark Zuckerberg. Click in the upper right-hand corner to check it out. Number 11. They've acquired nine different companies since 2012. In a constant effort to expand their business and also minimize competition, Dropbox is always on the lookout for smart acquisitions they can make in their tech sector. They started in 2012 by buying out a startup called Tap Engage, which facilitated collaboration between publishers and advertisers. In 2013, they also bought Audio Galaxy, a startup that gave users storage space for their music files that could then be streamed on any device, and also bought Snapjoy, an online photo aggregate service. Their most recent acquisition came in 2017 with the purchase of Hackpad, a document sharing startup. As of 2018, Dropbox has acquired a total of nine different businesses. Number 12. Dropbox went public in March 2018. After much speculation and anticipation, Dropbox finally filed for their initial public offering, or IPO, in February 2018 to be listed on the NASDAQ. Their initial goal was to raise $500 million, and they far surpassed that after going public for the first time on March 23, 2018. Their stock increased 42% on the first day, and their market valuation jumped from $10 billion to $12 billion after the initial public offering. Number 13. They made $1.106 billion in 2017. Dropbox's revenue has jumped dramatically in the last few years. In 2010, the company brought in about $12 million in revenues, and in 2011, their revenue jumped to $46 million. 
Their revenue more than doubled in 2012 with $116 million. But in the past five years, their revenues have been steadily growing, especially after they became a public company. In 2017, they crossed the billion-dollar mark with $1.106 billion in revenue, a 31% increase from the year before. Number 14. Over 1.2 billion files have been uploaded to Dropbox Since Dropbox was founded in 2007, over 1.2 billion files have been uploaded as of February 2018, and of course, this number is constantly increasing. These files include over 400 billion pieces of content that have been uploaded in the history of the company. Additionally, about 100,000 shared links and folders are created every hour, and 4,000 file edits are completed every second. Number 15. Fortune ranked Dropbox as the 11th most valuable startup in the world. We are seemingly in the golden age of startups, where it's becoming more and more common for a startup to not only get off the ground, but gain incredible financial success. Still, there are certain names that stand out among the sea of startups and those that have climbed to greater heights than their counterparts. In 2016, Fortune ranked Dropbox as the 11th most valuable startup in the world, just behind Pinterest and just ahead of Lufax, a financial services startup in China. Some similar companies that made the top 10 include SpaceX, Snapchat, Airbnb, and of course, Uber, which claims the top spot. And there you have it, Aluxers, some interesting, lesser-known facts about Dropbox. Now that you've learned some more about the company, we'd like to know, do you use Dropbox regularly, or do you prefer another cloud-based storage service? Let us know in the comments. Still here? Of course, you're a true Aluxer after all. Here's a bonus fact just for you. Number 16. Bono of U2 is an investor in Dropbox. After already profiting hundreds of millions of dollars from an early Facebook investment, YouTube band members Bono and Edge each made an individual investment in Dropbox back in 2012 when it was still in the early stages of development. Bono has been known to invest in a number of tech startups and has even co-founded an investment firm called Elevation Partners. His most successful investments to date include Facebook, Dropbox, and Yelp. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.